have the clip that you want to slow down in the timeline and right click on it and go to speed duration. The speed duration window will appear and what you want to do is go to the percentage tab and change the percentage. Decreasing the percentage will slow down your clip and increasing the percentage will speed up your clip. I normally like to change the speed in 20 to 25% increments to see how it looks in the timeline. So I'm going to change the speed to 75%. And as you can see, it slows it down. I'm going to change it to 50%. And when you slow down or speed up a clip, your clip might start glitching or stuttering during playback. To fix this, go back to the speed duration window and go to the time interpolation tab and change it from frame sampling to optical flow to get a smooth playback. But when you change the time interpolation, you might have to render your clip. To do this, select the clip in the timeline and go to the sequence tab and go to render selection. The rendering window will appear as it will show the progress of your clip being rendered. And after it is done rendering, you'll be able to play back your clip smoothly. Another way to slow down your clip is using the rate stretch tool. The rate stretch tool allows you to adjust the speed of your clip in the timeline as if you were trimming it. You would use this tool when you have a great shot in a timeline, but the duration of the clip is a little too long or a little too short, and you want to fit it within a certain part in a timeline. To activate the rate stretch tool, go to the toolbar and click and hold on the ripple tool icon and select the rate stretch tool or press the keyboard shortcut R. Hover over the corners of your clip and you will see the red icon with arrows going in both directions. You would drag the clip outwards to slow it down. Or drag the clip inwards to speed it up. And when you use the rate stretch tool, you will need to adjust the time interpolation. Right click on the clip and go to time interpolation and click on optical flow. This will automatically create new frames to make the slow motion look better. and will also give you a smooth playback. And this is how you slow down a clip in Premiere Pro. Like and subscribe for more Premiere Pro tutorials, and I'll see you on the next one.